Hey guys, it's Brandon here again at Vape Extreme. Um, I got an order in the other day from uh, Vaporist.com, which of course is a Canadian vendor. Um, I've done a bunch of reviews for them uh, in the past, uh, just with stuff that I've ordered in and stuff that uh, he was kind enough to send for review. But over the last year, since I first started dealing with him till now, his line has expanded drastically, um, which is fantastic. The biggest problem that I generally see with the Canadian market with uh, with vaping is we don't get the same stuff that the Americans have. Um, like I've been seeing a lot of reviews on all these new tank styles, um, all these rebuildable atomizers, um, rebuildable tank atomizers, the Genesis style mat uh, um, atomizers and mods and so on and so forth. Vaporous is trying to keep up and they're doing a very good job. Um, there's one company out there, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with Darwin, um, and it, it was kind of a game changer with vaping because it has gone from doing your standard variable voltage to variable wattage um, and taking a lot of the guesswork out of vaping. Um, but basically what Evolve has done is they've made a neat little product that now allows you to take um, pretty much any 3.7 volt mod, this is the bolt, it's not a custom color or anything like that, I just painted it because the anodizing wore off it and it looked like crap so I gave it a spray paint for the time being for uh, my little ghetto mod. Um, and then you can also use like the telescope mod which I've got tore apart here because that's what I actually had it in before. But basically what it does, it now takes your basic 3.7 volt big battery mod and converts it to basically a Darwin. Um, not giving you all the full control and selectability and odd looking connecting thing, uh, whatever. Um, even though I still want a Darwin, as odd as that sounds, as weird as that thing looks, I still want to get one, but I don't think I'll ever be able to get the chance to unless I can find one used. Anyway, um, but basically what it does is it now gives you the same um, functionality uh, basically as the, like say for the Z-Max, in the variable wattage department. Um, I gotta show it to you. It's actually kind of a neat, uh, a neat little thing. It doesn't really look like much, um, but basically it comes in a neat little jewel case. It's got their uh, kick and the uh, their company logo at the bottom, and it just comes in this neat little jewel case uh, with a little piece of sticky tape across the top. But this is basically it. Right. There. So as you can see, at where my finger is at the top, there's uh, the grounding spring, um, and then you've got your battery post, and then this here is your potentiometer. Um, my camera is not the best, but I'll try and see if I can get that to focus in there. So on the side you can see six, seven, or sorry, what is it? It goes five, six, seven, and then on the opposite side it or it goes five, six, seven, and then on the other side it goes eight, nine, ten as you go down the uh, down the scale. So basically what that is allowing you is I hate my autofocus. Um, basically it allows you to uh, adjust anywhere from 5 watts to 10 watts um, and from my experience at this particular point in time um, on February whatever the hell the day is um, 2013 of course um, I haven't generally been vaping over 10 watts to begin with um, and that's using my my Z Max so they're not overloading you with with options which is which is kind of nice and it goes together very easily um, I'm gonna use it on the bolt because it's kind of the easiest one um, it does work uh, at this particular point in time with the telescope mod as well from smoke tech 
The only thing that I did just to be on the safe side is on the inside it's got the anodized finishing as well. Um, I just grabbed a piece of sandpaper and just sanded off the finish on the inside just to give that ground spring a little better contact. Um, it wasn't really necessary because I did push it in before I went, oh shit, I gotta sand that off. And it still fired either way. Um, but I did it just to be on the safe side, I guess. Um, so basically what, if you're going to use it on the bolt, um, there's a couple battery configurations I believe you can use. I've been using it with the 18490 or the 18500 battery. Um, which is another thing that I actually got from uh, from Vapors as well, is the E-Fest uh, batteries. Basically, they're the same idea as the AWIMR batteries. Uh, they're just basically a little bit less expensive. Um, and from my experience so far, there's not really a huge performance difference. Um, and for the couple bucks you're saving, you know, it's kind of worth it in the long run. So. The eSafe batteries at this point uh, basically have all the same protection. They have the, chem or the chemically safe um, chemistry or goo on the inside <laughs> if you want to go that way with it. Um, but basically with the bolt, with the 18490, um, you are going to need the extension cap that converts the bolt from um, your standard 18500 to a 18650. Um, main reason being is it won't fit, but what I'm going to try, seeing as we're doing this on camera, I do have a um, 18350 battery. I want to see if this will work with the 18 or 18350 battery. So basically all you do is put your battery in, obviously positive side up, and the kick goes big shiny um, grassy colored flat bottom onto the top of the battery like so so that your potentiometer is always facing up towards the top of the device um, and then of course you take your battery cap and we're just going to thread that on like so and I've got this set at 8 watts and I know it'll vape the snot out of this uh, bug cardo So of course if this doesn't work, I'm going to look silly and we'll go back and do it all again, but I want to try it. And it doesn't work. Okay, so it will not work with that configuration, oddly enough. Why is that? Should work. Or is it because I never sent the bottom up? Excuse me for one sec. I uh, didn't sand off the bottom of the bolt because I wasn't planning on using it with an 18350 because it probably wouldn't last very long in battery life wise. But for the sake of the purpose of this review, I want to try it and see if it works because I'm curious. Now, of course. Um, Evolve recommends, um, and I also agree, uh, to use the IMR uh, AW batteries. Don't be using the cheap Chinese batteries like I'm doing here with the 18350. Um, but uh, they uh, they recommend using the uh, the IMR batteries um, for a couple reasons. They're probably a lot more uh, stable um, for the actual board itself. This battery is actually dead. 
or it may not just or it just may not work. I'm just gonna try my other one to see if it works. If it doesn't, of course, I've now looked silly, and we're gonna go back to the other side of the review. The battery's dead. So now that I'm thinking about that, I'll snap that on the charger with the other one I got going. Oh, actually, I think that battery's just dead. Either way, IMR batteries, or AW batteries, best ones to use. Don't be using cheap Chinese batteries that just came with some junky mod I had, and I just kept the batteries for a just-in-case, I guess. So it does work, and it does work well. Um, because if I was to do that, oh, I can't, guess I can't really do it with the same battery comparison, but basically I'm going to take the eSafe 18490 battery, throw it in, and I know this is not going to vape well at all uh, because it's a 3 ohm coil. See? Yeah, it's not bad. Um, now I'm going to throw the extension tube on it with the 18490. I'm going to drop my uh, my kick in. Like I said, it goes in just like that. As you can see, tensiometers at the top. And then we just basically push it down, thread it on. much better. Now the other thing you got to keep in mind guys, the, um, the kick is designed for mechanical mods. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I was going to try it in my Ego T, uh, the 18650 version of the Ego, but then I got thinking, well, it's got the protection and the circuitry in it, so I'll have to look more into it. Um, but it's basically designed for any of your um, basic mechanical 3.7 volt uh, mods. Um, and if you have gone to this step and you want to try um, something variable voltage or variable wattage, or sorry, variable wattage, uh, not variable voltage, um, the kick is a great place to start, mainly because of the fact that it is fairly inexpensive. Um, Vaporous.com sells them for $49.95 or $49.99 or something like that. Um, Canadian, of course. Um, and yeah, it, it's it, from what I can see so far, there's really no reason why it wouldn't work with uh, with other mods. Um, like I said, I have officially tried it with the telescope mod, um, and it does work. Um, I do recommend doing the sanding on the inside just for uh, just to save yourself the headaches if you happen to have problems uh, with it operating. Um, and actually, I'll, I'll show you really quickly that it does actually work. Um, now, the other nice part with the kick uh, is it does have some built-in safety features as well. So it's got uh, your short circuit protection, um, your over discharge protection, um, and there are a few other ones. Uh, this isn't really a, a technical review. There are a bunch of guys uh, out there that have done full reviews on the kick. Uh, I think P. Bissardo did one and Grim Green did a, a, a nice rendition of it. Um, P. Bissardo, if you want to get in and get all the technical information and all the charts and, and everything else, is, he's got a good long review. This one's turning out to be a little longer than I wanted it to. But, um, and then Grim Green just kind of does the same rendition that I'm doing now, but I'm letting you know that we now have a Canadian vendor that carries the kick. That's kind of why I'm doing the review. Um, so basically what you're going to do is take your top part of the telescope um, and it's going to go in this way. 
and then what you're going to do is just kind of push it in with your thumb and then shove the kick right into the bottom just like so now it will come out you just kind of cut a bang it on your hand see it will slide out the bottom so that's don't worry that it's stuck in there forever it will come out um, then at that point um, positive side facing up from your switch and then just squeeze her together that was really dry <coughs> so I'm going to show you with the exact same cardo tank that I just took off the bolt just to kind of show you you know it's the same performance Performing outstanding. Um, so yeah, guys, um, just a quick little heads up. Uh, Vaporous.com now carries the kick. Uh, and for the other guys um, that were also wondering if you can use it in the telescope mod, yes, you can. Um, one other thing that I did notice about the kick, when the battery starts to get low, um, the module will actually start to pulsate and you can actually feel it while you're vaping it because you'll get it'll be warm then cold and warm then cold warm then cold um, that's basically just letting you know that the battery's going to die so you might want to change it so it does give you that uh, that little bit of a heads up excuse me um, so yeah that's uh, that's the kick from Evolve uh, available now at uh, vaporous.com guys so if you're looking for the kick uh, in Canada we now have it um, so check them out guys vaporous.com I'll post the link down in the uh, box in the bottom and as always let's keep on vaping